Y'all, I don't know if y'all have seen this situation. A lot of my favorite YouTubers have been covering it, and I want to cover it too, but a lot of them have been saying this is like the most embarrassing stream ever, but y'all, I personally think it's the most insecure stream I have ever seen personally. Now, this guy is on stream. He gets a donation, and I don't know if you guys know how stream donations work, but usually it reads it out loud through like some type of chat GPT generated cast of voice type situation and he got a stream donation that said hey have you seen this video of your girlfriend a youtube video and he was like oh my god i can't believe that she would be out here making youtube videos she never told me and he got really in his feelings he ended up calling her on the live stream and was like i can't believe you did this i feel so betrayed we just made a tiktok channel together and you said you never done this before and here you are you've done it and she's like yeah, when I was in high school, this was years ago, like long before we even met. And that's my gay friend and like my homegirls. So, like, it's really not a problem. And he's like, I'm so embarrassed. And like, I can't believe that you would do this to me. And y'all, it's actually genuinely embarrassing, insecure and crazy. So let's just dive into it. Hey, you. Psst, come here. Hit that subscribe button. I use YouTube to buy my cat treats. Subscribe. All right, hold on. Let's get straight into this one right here. <laughs> this is interesting. I've never seen this. Oh my god. Hey guys! It's Kelly. Oh my god. You never told me about this, bro. Now, if you're somebody like me who gets bored with content fairly quickly, then you might end up seeing this, just the beginning part of it, seeing him be like, oh, she's never told me this, and chuckling about it and be like, oh. Like, he's literally just going to watch a video of his girlfriend doing a video, like, years ago. But that's not the case. He was actually very upset. The fact that she made a YouTube video and didn't tell him about it. How dare she? Mind you, this was years ago. The video only had a couple hundred views on it. They only had a couple subscribers. It's not something that's going to be memorable for her, especially if she never wanted to pursue it as a career or anything. The videos didn't do well, and if she did this nine years ago and only had a couple hundred views, and obviously they're not on that channel no more, they're not going to get comments or anything, it's out of her head, out of sight, out of mind. He's upset that she didn't bring this up to him and feels as if she was hiding it from him, and that upset him. Now, after the situation happened, so many people was covering it. Moist Critical was covering it. August the Duck had covered it. Y'all, everybody had covered the situation. Atozi had covered it. All these big YouTubers that I watch have talked about the situation. With that being said, he did end up coming out and apologizing about his actions for this night, and he blamed it on alcohol and spliffs. Yeah, so anyways, a lot has come out about him since this, though, and I think that he just did that apology to more so save face and get people to stop talking about it since a lot of large channels are covering this event. But the thing that happened that more so gets my attention is the fact that there has been multiple streams and a lot of his streams are centered around just arguing with his girlfriend and putting it out on a live stream. It doesn't make sense to me. How is this content and who the hell is watching it? Damn, she hiding stuff from me? I, bro, she never told me about this. I'm surprised. I'm like, what the fuck? I never heard about I thought she would tell me something like this. She was on a YouTube video. She never told me this. I don't think he understands fully how jealous he's coming off with his tone of how he's addressing the situation oh i can't believe she never told me she was in a youtube video nine years ago that literally had 500 views how could she not tell me this i don't know about y'all but i think in most normal relationships i think that there's still things people learn about each other because not everything has to be fully disclosed when you get into a relationship it's not like once you start dating somebody you sit down with like a binder of everything that you've ever done in your life and you're like okay we'll go through this one at a time when i was a baby i first crawled because a cheeto you know what i mean like you don't you know what i mean like you don't sit down and go over every single moment of your life and every aspect with your partner or the person that you're dating so i think it's so funny that he's really taking this as she's hiding stuff from me because she didn't disclose everything that she done in her past really yeah how are you not how are you not gonna tell me you you did you did oh so convenient cool <laughs> You, I, 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 you're on speaker. You're on speaker now, by the way. But that's weird. That's weird that you never told me this. I literally forgot about that. I don't know how they found that. I do. I totally forgot about that. Interesting. 
You can watch it. I don't. Care. I don't. I don't. I, mean, I, I, I don't. I don't. I don't care. I just. I. I know how. I know how you would react if you like if the chat donated something like this. You'd be like, "Why wouldn't you tell me this?" Blah blah. Whatever. I. I wouldn't. I wouldn't hear. Like. I would not hear the end of this. So it's kind of funny. I like how he's like. It's kind of funny because if somebody would have brought something up that I did nine years ago in my past that I completely forgot about because it was so minuscule, it didn't matter, and nothing came out of it. It's funny that I would never hear the end of it. <laughs> Y'all, okay, if that is the case and she would be mad about something he did nine freaking years ago, such as, let's give an example, say he says he's never been to a football game, but he watched football on TV. She'd be like, you're a liar. I thought you'd never been to a game, but you sat down and you watched the Super Bowl? How could you not disclose this information to me? You lied. I think, one, he's upset because he's probably very insecure and feels like he has to know everything about his partner or friend or whoever the person may be to feel like they're really connected but at the same time i feel like he's mad over a reason that he brings up very soon and he says well we started a tiktok and wanted to start doing a podcast together and you said you never did a podcast or anything like that so it's very funny to see that you were on a youtube video and she's like well yeah like this was a youtube video forever ago i was in high school this is embarrassing like i can't believe you're reacting to this right now and he's like yeah you lied you said you never did anything on social media period and she's like no i didn't say that like I just said I've never done a podcast. It's crazy. Okay. <laughs> I'm surprised you didn't tell me this. What do you mean, thanks? I'm, I'm surprised you never told me this. This is crazy. I got to find this out from the chat. Thank you. Okay, thanks for embarrassing me. That's This is really embarrassing. Thanks. <laughs> it's embarrassing for her, not me. It's embarrassing for me to watch a video and be like, oh, yo, chat, i never seen this before. Let's check this out. Okay. How is it embarrassing to not know every little single mine or detail about your significant other or partner's past? I feel like it's normal to not know every single damn little thing. But then at the same time, how is this embarrassing for you, but you're still sitting down watching the video, reacting to it, calling your girlfriend, bringing her on the stream to embarrass her? This is a video from her when she was in high school, y'all. If somebody would bring up a video of me in high school and put it on blast for the world to see, I'd be like, oh, shit, I was cringy as fuck. And you're putting me on blast. And this isn't even just like a friend or something of hers. This is her boyfriend. I'd be very pissed. But the thing about it is that since a majority of their content is just them arguing and going at it on live stream, this isn't really any different from past live streams i feel a type of way right now how are you not going to tell me that bro what the fuck that's weird dude all right whatever i come and explain myself which is really fucking annoying why won't you tell me about that i first of all i totally forgot about that you can that's look convenient at, you can look you at get the air. you've gotten mad at me for telling for like things popping up and you're like oh how how would you how would you not Mary, tell me this before i blah, really blah. To truly honestly to god forgot about that because it was so long ago we never made it a serious thing we filmed like two things we started 10 talks together and we like talked about being I on a podcast and, I, and you're like i've never and that done, wasn't a i've podcast. never done anything like this before that wasn't so a it's podcast. like people are saying like oh yuri why are you making a big deal i don't What's a, bit, what's a big deal is it feels like I've been lied to. That's what it feels oh, like. Oh, really? Yes. Okay. Imagine being in literal high school, uploading one video with your friends, doing a challenge or a dare, or just being friends and silly. And then nine years later, you're in a relationship, you're pretty serious with that person, and then they come up to you, not even come up to you privately, but they're on a live stream with like hundreds of thousands of people watching them. And they're like, hey... By the way, why didn't you tell me that you did YouTube when you was in high school, when you was a kid? So this is embarrassing already. But you're embarrassing me because you didn't disclose this information. It was a video, one upload on one channel that was with her and two other friends that they did literally nine years ago. She probably did freaking forget about it. Even if she didn't forget about it, it's not a big deal. Why would she need to disclose this information? It's not nothing that's going to come with a heavy heart where she's like, um... Can we talk? Like, I just, I think you should sit down. Like, I, I did a thing. I did a YouTube video nine years ago, and I just, I had to tell you. I mean, it's not a big deal. Imagine you get married or something, and, like, you're just having dinner one day, <laughs> and your partner's pissed off. And you're like, honey, what's wrong? And they're like, I thought you did a life school. Why are you smiling in your yearbook photo? It just doesn't make sense. You lied to me. <laughs> 
I wasn't lying to you. I genuinely forgot about it because it was never a serious thing. I don't even know who those people are. You that's my friend me. Karina. Cool. And right. that's my friend Dalton, my gay friend Dalton. You could clearly he, see yeah, he, yeah, obviously, but I'm, I'm glad I'm learning this through someone in the chat four years later into our relationship. I don't even know how they fucking found that. I didn't even know that that was out there. So you were lying on the fact that I would not find that out. How am I lying? No, I'm saying you were lying on the fact that I would not Why find it out. Honestly, Missy Ma'am could have made 10 uploads in the past prior. Why is it a big deal? And how is she lying? He said... The fact that you're lying, that you thought I wouldn't find this out. What? Like, oh, this don't even make sense. And I didn't think at first it's really weird the fact that he was comfortable live streaming this. One, something from his girlfriend's past, which again, never hit past a couple hundred upload or views. But again, I understand what you put out on the internet, it's on the internet. But you think that if this embarrassed him as much as he says it did, he would have did this matter in private. Y'all, I just sneezed. My allergies are so freaking bad right now, but my allergies are not as bad as this man's confidence issues because this is bizarre. I think when she said, I don't know how they found that, I think he's twisting that and how she's trying to come across. She's like, oh my God, like, I don't know how they found that. That's crazy. Like, I forgot that was even out there. Like, that's so funny that they found that, but it's embarrassing if you play it live. And he's taking that as... Oh my god, I can't believe that you found that. Like, I was trying to hide that from me. That's, like, my deepest, darkest secret. I can't believe they found that and, like, showed you, like, oh my god. <laughs> How are you? Why is he even upset about this? But, guys, the apology is hilarious, and we're going to be getting into that very soon. Deal, I'm, it's, it's not, but you're, stupid video. but you're like, oh, I can't believe you found that. I, you no, would, you should you have never when, seen that. When did I ever say that? <laughs> when did I say that at uh, all? I never said that. I just said, can you not play that? Because it's an embarrassing video. I'm literally in high school. Like, that's awkward and embarrassing. Had I known about it, I would have been like, oh, this is the video Riley told me about. I forgot. I don't even know that it's on the internet, Yuri. And you're just, like, not believing me. And it's really I sad. Do, I, I do believe you, I guess. But it's, like, it's... <laughs> oh I don't understand God. how, like, you can, like just don't remember, like, oh, yeah, we did this thing before. I if she did one video, one video with her friends and uploaded it, nine years ago i highly doubt that's gonna be one of the first things that that she's gonna be thinking about that she has to tell you like oh shit by the way i forgot to tell you i uploaded a video nine years ago but it was nothing serious it was just with two of my friends and it was a challenge and like i just felt the need to tell you that's weird but it's not like she was actively a content creator prior and i think that's what he's most upset about because again as he stated he and her decided to start a podcast where they're going to interview people and talk about like world problems and he found this a problem because he was like well I thought you never did any type of content prior and you're lying to me because you uploaded a video nine years ago with your friends in high school it's not the same personally I don't like listening to my voice so I never watch my videos back and when I upload them I'm like yeah like I hope it's yeah I hope it's okay <laughs> but I don't listen to my videos back, so I tend to forget them after I upload them, especially ones that I uploaded months ago. And sometimes I'll get comments on videos that I uploaded a long time ago, and I'm like, oh, I covered this? Or like, oh, this is my video. And I don't remember it because, hey, out of sight, out of mind. And the fact that he's mad about her for not remembering one video from nine years ago. He did open up to the fact that he was drinking alcohol while making this video and smoking marijuana mixed with tobacco, which just for TOS reasons, I want to say don't do drugs. I do not encourage them. But with that being said, he did admit to being under the influence during the time. And he said that that played a role in his behavior during the live stream. And while I don't want to be political and go off giving my standpoint on drugs, I do think that if you are of age, again, of age gotta be 21 and you purchase a beer every now and then and decide to you know have a sip of wine or something with dinner like fine but if you're getting drunk to the point where or getting intoxicated or under the influence to the point where you're misconstruing people's opinions around you and starting to affect them negatively I think that is a problem and I feel like Surrey Sir is doing that imagine embarrassing the shit out of your spouse partner whoever you want to call it on live stream from a video or something that happened to them or something they did years ago prior to even meeting you embarrassing the shit out of them for it calling them out and letting thousands of people watch it happen live 
and then turning around and apologizing being like well i was under the influence so i made this person's night a living fucking hell but hey i'm sorry i was under the influence I'm not thinking it's not like, it's not it's not like it wasn't a seri- i was never I on know, a podcast okay. i was never I doing youtube it. like that i made a video before on youtube Bruh. I'm just gonna stream, guys. That's so stupid. Everyone, have a good night. Peace. So, just a personal note, and kind of why I wanted to cover this. I dated somebody who, when I hit 500 subscribers, they were like, you're welcome. I did that for you, and I was like, what? And it makes me think back and relate to this girl's situation with this guy. If they're gonna go on a podcast together, and their intentions is, from what I'm hearing from this video... They are going to start a TikTok channel together. They are going to start doing podcasts together and interviewing people and talking about world problems. And y'all, if she made a video nine years ago and just did a little challenge with her friends, I don't see the problem with that, especially if they want to do influencing type content together. I feel like personally, if I had a spouse that I was starting a TikTok or a podcast with if I found out they did a content prior whether it was one video or 10 I'd be like well how much do you know editing wise what do you know about hashtags like what did you do for promotional value when it came to the content I feel like I'd be asking some deeper questions and not be like oh I can't believe you lied to me and you made a video prior it's like that is so not even worth an argument let's take it back during the pandemic y'all I dated somebody who, after I started dating them, I realized, oh, shit, they're a content creator. I didn't, well, I mean, I knew that they did certain things with, they clipped their content that they did and uploaded it, but I didn't know that they, like, really had a following or anything like that, and I was intrigued by it because I was like, I always wanted to start doing content creation, but I don't know, I just never really did it. But I always wanted to, especially with gaming content. I don't know why, but I really enjoy gaming and I enjoy making content related to the gaming styles that I do. But with that being said, I remember after finding out that they were a content creator, I was like, what do I have to lose? Like, they're normal, just like me. I should just go ahead and do it. So I started a channel. When this person found out I started uploading content, they was like, well, I thought you wanted to start a channel. Hmm. I didn't know you was doing this like you lied to me and I was like I didn't lie to you but after you know I got a little bit of hope to start a channel so I wanted to and this person turned around and y'all they started uploading edits that I had made on their channel like it was their own edits but then of course I'd have like my at sign at the end of it or beginning or somewhere on the screen so I did end up gaining a following from of course them sharing my content but it wasn't necessarily because they shared my content but more so what I was putting out in the content and when I hit my first 500 subscribers I remember I was like oh my god like I'm so excited about this like yeah I never thought I'd make it past 79 subscribers because I was stuck there for a while and when I hit 500 this person screenshotted my channel sent it to me in my dms and was like you're welcome that I got you here and I was like <laughs> what like excuse me Y'all, I should make this an entire video, like, in itself, like, a story time, but I just want to say, this person was a content creator who uploaded Grand Theft Auto content. I'm sorry, I know y'all are probably cringing, but I did a lot of gaming content, and they uploaded strictly a lot of Grand Theft Auto content, and I remember we would do, like, 1v1s. If you're not a gamer, you're probably like, what the fuck, but it's, like, where you kind of just, like, do a a match with just one other person it's you versus one other person and a lot of people looked up to this guy as like a big oh like a badass basically on the game because like they were very good at the game and every time we'd play together I would like literally just destroy them and I'm not bragging or anything but at the same time I thought it was funny because they didn't support me at all in my channel or my content because I'd upload unedited footage of our 1v1s and I remember he literally told me one time he was like you're making me look bad bottom line y'all if you want me to make a video about that it's absolutely bizarre (laughs) it's funny I will make a video about that by the way it's as I said hilarious but this guy is giving me this person's vibes like to the extreme anyways he apologized and don't they all so I'm gonna be covering this apology let's dive into it i'm we're on live dude like can you please stop doing and that's what i'm saying we're on live and you could cut you could okay. sense the tension in the room I'm, because you're not you're not saying a word <laughs> the attitude that i really wasn't stephanie and just dropped a bag of four dollars and 99 cents 
I don't like to do shots of stuff in your picture with me. Do do what? You were like, hey, I think we should make a right right here. I was like, nah, I, I think we should go straight. And then you got angry after that. Please. Bro, you're the one who's angry right now. You're like... Okay, we're getting into the apology now, but I just wanted to provide that clip to show y'all that this is repetitive behavior from him. Like, he's done this on stream multiple times in the past, just fighting with his girlfriend, and this is, like, basically their content. Is it going to be different in the sorry. future? Sorry. I'm sorry to my girlfriend. I'm sorry to the people who, like, are upset at me for doing this, right? I reacted incorrectly and i already took account accountability for that but like i feel like now that this most critical thing has come out people are saying other shit's going on i feel like i have to say it again i up i shouldn't have reacted like that that night guys i don't this is bro this is fucking insane for me bro i average 200 viewers i average 200 viewers i chill late nights and i smoke spliffs and i talk to my chat we listen to music and we have a good time um that night I may have taken a couple of shots because it was literally the weekend, bro. It was the weekend. I was chilling, taking a couple of shots, smoking, right? And then someone donated for me to react to that video. The person who donated for that, apparently they didn't expect such a reaction. I'm not sure, but they didn't expect such a reaction. I watched that video. I talked to Riley about this this conversation before. I was like, you know, we started podcasts together. I was like, you know, have you ever done anything like this before? It's not, and I know people are going to immediately be like, oh, bro, this is not pornography. This is not some other shit like that. I agree, right? All I'm saying is we've had the conversation before where, where it's like, have you ever done anything like this before? You know, video content, podca podcast, anything like that? She said no. So when that video came in i was just like i had this initial initial reaction of like feeling betrayed or lied to right i should if you know maybe if i wasn't as lit that night or something like that but uh. this has to go down in the books for one of the worst apologies i have seen in a really long time he's saying yeah i'm sorry to anybody who got upset that i treated my girlfriend like that but it's because of the alcohol and the spliffs and the influence that i was under from them they made me feel betrayed not my girlfriend it was just a misunderstanding and i like that he's attempting to apologize here but he's going back to I felt betrayed. I mean, she said she never done anything in the past. We started a podcast together, and it turns out that she uploaded a video on August 9th of 2015. <laughs> One video. Are you kidding me? This is not the same as doing a podcast or, like, hosting an entire TikTok channel where you guys frequently upload together. It is not the same posting a one-time-off thing with your friends. And the fact that he's this upset and the fact that he drug his girlfriend, embarrassed the shit out of her on live... Just to say he was the one who was embarrassed. He is 100% in the wrong here. I feel like a takeaway I have from this right now is that I can actively lose weight by trying to follow the mental gymnastics that this man is going through. Like, I feel like I have a whole new workout plan ahead for me because his logic or alleged logic, that's not logicking. He's saying, I was betrayed and felt betrayed by my girlfriend, who, by the way, I betrayed because I embarrassed the shit out of her on live stream for thousands of people to see. And I kept that stream going because I wanted the validation that I was in the right for embarrassing her and throwing her under the bus from something she did back in 2015 before we had even met and she was in high school. So, yeah. Oh, but I'm betrayed because she said she never did content before. And she uploaded one video in 2015 with two of her friends that it never took off. She didn't disclose something that she she can't say, hey, I did this because she don't remember it. So it doesn't make sense to be this upset at her. I had the initial reaction of being like kind of confrontational about it. I should have kept those feelings for afterwards. I should have kept those feelings of however I felt about it for off stream to conversate about it off stream. Um, I did not. I addressed it immediately and then I've made a, a fool of myself, a fool of, our, a fool of our relationship. And on top of that, it's gone so bro everyone's oh my God, everyone's talking about this shit. and it's just like bro i can't be um mad at the situation because it's my fault i made a mistake okay he did say i made the mistake like he's taken trying to take accountability for it but you this isn't like oh a one-time thing this is something that has happened in the past where you just argue with your girlfriend on stream and then drag it out and go off of whatever the hell the chat says about the situation and let the chat decide how you feel or react in the moment i think that you know, is this is problem. getting bad here like i was like the best thing to do here is literally just to end the stream so we can have this conversation off camera and guess what i end the stream i ended the stream we had the conversation off camera and then we literally figured everything out and i would have never ever ever uh expected 
this to, to get to this point. And like I said, bro, once again, um, am I happy that all this is going down? Not necessarily. People are saying like, oh, good, uh, all promo is good promo, but not, not <laughs> like it doesn't really feel like that when um, you just seem like a boyfriend and a person to like uh, millions of people. I see it feels weird saying that. But, but like the Twitter thing has millions of views. This it has 300k. Like, bro, this is like XQC is talking about this. Yeah. I don't think he's sorry. I think he more so just felt the need to come on here and say this because I do think that the alcohol and the spliffs had an influence on his actions for not ending the stream because I guess he doesn't have the emotional control to do that. I don't know. But he decided to just go on with the situation as he has in the past with his girlfriend on the live streams. Like, he'll just sit there and argue with her and I guess it's like fun for them or it's their content I don't know what the hell it is but I think he's just apologizing more so because of people like Moist Critical and all these large channels covering it they are getting millions of views on this I think he felt the need to kind of address it to try to save his face and his ass a little bit for the future people who's going to come across this video I don't watch this guy personally, so I don't know what videos he had on his channel prior to this upload, whatever, since it had blown up. But I have seen certain content creators saying that he has been deleting clips ever since this came out. People have been going back through his content and finding times that he was arguing with his girlfriend and like putting him on blast for it. And people are saying that he's been going back through his uploads and deleting certain clips of him arguing with his girlfriend. But with that being said, I don't know if that's necessarily true because again i don't watch his content so i don't know what he had on his channel for me to go there now and be like oh he did delete i don't know but i want to get y'all's thoughts and opinions about this i think the situation is absolutely bizarre that just his logic but i'm gonna go ahead and wrap this video up y'all i have another video that i don't know why but for some reason i get such a headache when i sit down to try to edit it and I don't know why, there's just something about this one damn video, because I'm editing it just like I do all my other videos, but I don't know if this video is meant to be, and I might have to drop it. <laughs> I had made a community post, and I asked you guys, I said, y'all, I'm making a new series over here on this channel where I'm going to be talking about YouTubers who went missing. Yeah, seemed fun. And I had some of y'all give me some pretty good suggestions to look into and cover, and one of the suggestions was one that fascinated me a while ago when I had first seen certain things that were coming out about the channel for, um, from Kate Yup. So I wanted to cover that mukbang channel or mukbang channel, mukbang, whatever you call it, because it interested the hell out of me. But now that I'm sitting down trying to make the video, like I have it scripted and everything and I'm just trying to edit it now. And I don't know why, like I said, I'm just getting like the worst headache from trying to do this damn video. And I've never had that problem with content. So I don't know if I'm going to go through with that video. But with that being said, let me know in the comments what you guys think about this topic that we just discussed. I think it's bizarre, honestly, that somebody acts like that and tried to justify their behavior. But also, in my opinion, he seems a little bit giddy about all the attention that it's been getting. I think he's happy that he's reached Moist Critical's channel. But with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up. Let me know in the comment section what y'all thought about it, and I'll catch y'all in the next upload.